So dear ladies and gentlemen, this main goal of uh, my presentation is to highlight the various ways of looking at the concept of world music. From the half of the 20th century, the phrase world music became a music mark, well sold article for music marketing and very confused music style for many musicians, producers and listeners. In preceding three or four decades, people have tried to solve this question. I can mention, mention some of the main historical landmarks. World Music Campaign, World Music Campaign uh, uh, in 1987 in London, an important article, World Music History in Affiliates Magazine, written in 2000, a musicologist conference of folklore of world music, from folklore to world music in Czech Republic, Namiesti Slavo, in 2003, lot and lot of more <coughs> less scientific publications about world music. I spent several years to solve the question, what does world music mean? And now I try to show you different ways of understanding world music in music society nowadays. First possibility, world music as traditional authentic folk music. Authentic folk music means local tradition, which is represented by our great grandparents as clean as possible. It is music that carries our national or ethnic tradition. Nowadays, it is a kind of music revival. For Slovak musicology, traditional folk music is a specific section of ethnomusicology. In our culture, traditional still has strong roots. Therefore, the musical legacy, legacy of our parentage revives and performs at the different stages, what we can call the stylized folklore. In Slovak ethnomusicology, Bela Bartok and his records play a vital role. His mother was Slovak and he studied uh, in our schools, therefore he spoke Slovak very well. His favorite activities from 1906 were collected and recorded folk music. His collection contains over 304,000 uh, Slovak tunes and uh, 4,000 Slovak texts. Now we can listen to a Slovak folk music from staging a uh, year in the village from 1967. Where the changes of original theme 
are well recognizable and the improvisation of this stem is not so far from the source. Second time is internal correlation, where the changes are more complicated and the musical material as melodic theme, rhythm, rhythmical pattern, phrases and, uh, is difficult to identify. Now you can listen to fusion of flamenco and uh, Indian music. consider our classical compositions exotic. At the same case, as we listen to, for example, traditional Chinese opera, which is for Chinese people artificial composed music of well-educated composer, we may consider as folk music. Now you can listen to
Next possibility, world music as a commercial, non-music category. Consequence of increasing globalization in the second half of the 20th century is that people are raising the interest of each indication of traditional each, uh, ethnic music from all over the world. Therefore, music industry has responded to this demand. In 1957, the first record company, Okora, was found in Paris. It was, specialized, uh, it was specialized in authentic records of ethnic music. I can give you more examples. In 1972, British record company Nimbus Records. In 1976, English ARC Music, The Real Worlds, World Circuit Records. In New York, Music of the World. In 1983, in London, Conceived, Stern. Later, Piranha, PNG Music, International Records, and so on. From the 90s, in Slovakia, we have Pavian Records and Slonko Records focused on alternative scene included world music. Also, the music, music magazines has a global rhythm from 1971 songlines, root world from 1980 folk roots, local music from out there, in Italy, world music magazine, and in Germany, folk world, home of European music. In Slovakia, we have Hudobny uh, Život, Hudba, Novi Popular, and so on. Also has been arised music charts in 1991, World Music Chart Europe, and now in 2015 we conceived, uh, was conceived Transcultural World Music Chart. Websites and radios focused on world music. Um, because many talks, many musicologists consider label world music as a commercial effort of music industry, not a separate music trend of nowadays. They see only ambivalent character of these activities. Uh, the last possibility, world music as a phenomenon of the age of globalization. How on website globalization to one is said, policy and technological developments of the new phase on, of uh, decades have spurred increase, increases in cross-border trade, investments and uh, May, uh, migration so large that many observers believe the world has entered a quality, qualitatively new phase in this economic development. Since 1950, uh, for example, the volume of the world trade has increased by, by 20 times. It is a process which cannot be stopped. Many aspects of our lives are bearing elements of uniformity. Therefore, it is so important not to forget about our roots and traditions. World music is great space for renaissance of traditional music of whole worlds. world. The shape of traditional is interesting for young people and can be way how to keep alive music speci uh, specification of each nation. World music is synthesis of several music styles, for example, influence of jazz, rock, folk, blues, reggae, and so on, with strong background of traditional authentic folk music. It is music which is approaching to cultural diversity where multiculturalism has its own place. Now you can listen to uh, an example of traditional folk music from Romania performed and uh, recreated by the Polish band Chachi Borba. <coughs>
Mm -hmm. It was only for good listeners. <laughs> <laughs> the last example of, uh, is from Bratislava's band Banda, featuring a cappella women's band, band Trenki from Banska Vistica. Then combine traditional archaic vocal song Pasha Janik Pone, Janik Horsey's Grace from East Slovakia. Original tune is a following melody as a mantra, for example, without expect measure and pauses. Acoustic instrumental accompaniment of banda is ostinato, arrangement with, with improvisation, which is grading during whole composition. Uh, 
úplne uh, sebevedomý v, v angličtine, je tu tlmočník. Ďakujem za pozornosť. Ak sú nejaké otázky. According to my experience uh, with the students, it's no, not easy to explain the term for them. And when I uh, uh, started to explain the term at my lecture, and I summarized these uh, fifth, this, uh, five uh, uh, definitions, the last questions from the audience would be, what does it mean in reality? <laughs> this is the most uh, important in my opinion how the audience or uh, practical musicians understand this term. What do you think? Because this is a uh, uh, definition according to theorists. It's important, extremely important, to divide this category, uh, in my opinion, for, let's say, musicologists or for uh, ac academic level, but for normal, let's say, normal people, what does it mean for music? I don't know. <laughs> Therefore, I was trying to um, uh, say something about the possibilities. Um, I think the fifth definition, which I said, is the, for me, is the best way how to explain this music. Uh, also, in the fifth possibility, the world music is a phenomenon of the age of the globalization, uh, can include the first or, first and the second possibilities. So it can include the traditional music with uh, synthesis, uh, popular music, and that's the main, um, main one. <laughs> I think it's, uh, yeah, the most, most imp important uh, uh, elements for world music. It's a uh, traditional and something new, something modern. Thank you, because I think that sometimes uh, too much of theories, theoretical meditation about the problem can be confusing. <laughs> but it's important. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Be too much of a good thing. Uh, and are there any other questions? At, five, at point five, four, mm -hmm. I missed the conclusion, the, the finish, uh, the uh, what uh, mm, musicologist or ethnomusicologist uh, mm, consider as world music. Mm -hmm. It's difficult because uh, I, I studied musicology a long time and uh, I spent a long time with musicologists and some of them I really um, They look down. Uh, they look down. Look down. Yeah, to musical, uh, to world music. So they um, they studied classical music. They um, do analyze um, very deep theoretical uh, analysis and so on and so on. And also do a uh, research in uh, music history. And now something new, or something um, with not strong background or with no strong definition, they consider as something commercial, something like conventional activity, nothing more. So it was for me a little bit uh, hard to, or difficult to explain that this music has uh, its own value and it's uh, really nice to study this kind of music. So this, I think, will be the last question. Is that right, Sasha? Yes. Sasha, is that time? Okay. Yes, good morning. Um, I'm Mario Nicolini, one of the proud partners of the World Music Festival uh, from the uh, Forum of the World's Religions. Um, I think it's also important to uh, uh, to recognize that, that world music is a very fluid um, um, label, I would mm -hmm. say. Um, and um, I have a, a bit of insight into the flamenco community. And so, you know, the purists, 
would probably just look down on Gypsy Kings, for example. Mm -hmm. Gypsy Kings being pop for them, basically pop music using uh, elements of, of flamenco. So I think even applying the label, I think the point should be made, maybe, and, and I wonder if you agree with me, the point should also be made that old music as a label uh, can also be contested uh, where uh, it becomes actually one of the uh, divisions was between non-Western music and Gypsy Kings obviously live in France, for example, and they might be pop for mm -hmm. many, you know, mm -hmm. certainly for the flamenco community, they are pop. This is not to belittle the Gypsy Kings, I think they do for flamenco an enormous job of, popular, uh, mm -hmm. of popularization. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, the, oh, well, I took this more as a comment, but do you have anything to respond to? I agree with you.